Hey, this is Rich over at TVP Live once again with Quick Tips Tutorial brought to you by Adobe Photoshop Elements Tutorials Group. And let's jump right in. Today's poster wanted to know how to recreate this light on the right on the left, or at least turn the light on, okay? So most people would say, you know, just duplicate this light and bring it over here. The problem is, and I'm going to do a kind of a fake duplication because it's not the way that I want to show you. So if I were to take this, and the problem is, I'm going to copy it, is that if you look at this light, it shows one, two, three, four panes of glass. If you look at this light on the left, it only shows three panes. So if I were to take that and put that on top of here and carefully cut that out, you can see it's just a duplicate of, of the light on the right. So what I'm going to show you, different way to do that. So let's go ahead and start with taking the colors and copying them, putting them over here. So I'm going to grab the uh, eyedropper tool and start with the darkest point here. That's going to be kind of yellowish down here like that. And you can see it's coming out over here. Now let's open up a new layer to be able to paint this. I'm going to click it once, click it twice. And that new layer is going to be the glow, the orange, darker, yellow, orange glow. Next, let's grab a a portion with the eyedropper tool of the brightest part in the middle, in the center here. And I'm going to open up a new layer and I'm going to make that brush a lot smaller. So let's try, I don't know, like 50 point. Go in the center of the light here. And I'm going to click once, twice. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it three times. Like that. That looks good. Maybe four. So you can see the difference in the whole piece. All right. Let's take that top layer, the white layer, and let's merge it down. Right click and hit merge. And that basically made it both of those into one layer. Now let's lessen the opacity so we can draw out the actual um, portions of the light that we want to keep. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in and we're going to draw this stuff out here, but leave the glow on the outside. So I'm going to grab the eraser, grab a small three point for the edges here, and I'm just going to carefully draw up along here. Basically draw out everything that's black that should be black with the eraser. But I want to be careful not to grab anything beyond the light. I can just do this by hand. Okay, next we're going to make these make the eraser from three point to four point a little bit thicker. And we want to get rid of all this other stuff. So I'm going to grab the polygon tool. Put that back down over here. And I'll hit delete. And you can see we're bringing back the black part that's supposed to be black. And there we go. So now when I take my opacity, I can bring it down and bring it back up to where we like it. And let's take this to, I don't know, about 90%, right around there. And I want to soften this outside portion. So what I'm going to do is, is make turn this one layer into two layers, but keep the part that I want, the center part, as its own layer, so I can adjust the opacity separately. I'll right click and I'll hit cut. And up here you'll see, now there's two layers. The light is one and the outside is the second. I'm gonna zoom back out and watch them side by side. Before I take it down too much, I'm gonna grab the eraser and I'm gonna grab a big 75 point brush and soften that edge up on the top there, like that and maybe a little bit down here, like that. Okay, I can back out a little bit, and you can see how good that's really looking. And what's really nice is that you can adjust the glow on the outside, and it really looks real, from nothing to 100%. And that looks pretty good. And that's pretty much it. That's all there is to it. There you go. You see both lights on. They look pretty real. And you were able to retain the, the, the number of panes of glass that it used to have from the beginning. That's it for this tutorial. This is Rich calling it quits, saying over and out.